Welcome to our hub identification class, where we, we identify the hubs that grow around. And furthermore, we help you to, uh, to know how to maintain your body. And we cannot do it of ourselves, but we can do it when God allows us to do it and enables us to do it. We must cooperate with God in order to have good health. Good health is not found uh, in those who, are lo the, the, those who are not following the laws or the principles that God has put in nature and is in his word. And uh, you realize that most of the people do not realize that the law of rest, that is the Sabbath, um, is very important for, for us. We work excessively. We work even on the day that we need to be resting. God created the Sabbath, which is on the Saturday, beginning from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. In 12, uh, 24 hours, God has given man that rest. But many people today do not consider creating a whole day, 24 hours, to God by reaching out to the people, praising the Lord and interacting as a family. And for that case, you realize that Sunday sacredness was created. And many people exalt Sunday sacredness and know that Sunday is the day of worship. I want to tell you that the Bible says clearly in the book of Ezekiel chapter 20 verses 12 and 20 that if Hallow my Sabbath, for I sanctify. I'm the Lord that sanctify you. You read Exodus chapter 31 verses 18. That Sabbath will be there forever. And then if you go further to Exodus chapter 20, uh, chapter 20 from verses 11, chapter 8 to 11, we find that in six days shalt thou labor, but on the seventh day, everything that God has given uh, that has given us on our custody needed to rest, including our servants and even our animals. In Genesis, in the beginning, in Genesis chapter 2, God rested the seventh day. That system of rest has not ended, and it will be there even in the new earth. So, we need to change our minds and understand that the, when we live according to God's word, He is able to restore health unto us. Many people are sickling because they work 24-7 and do not consider that they have to give a day, that is the Sabbath, to rest and give God glory. That is why the whole world will be following this, uh, the traditions and the maxims of men, following the purple system. And hence, we shall receive the seal of the man or the seal of the beast. But we need to receive the seal of God, which is settling in truth, both intellectually and spiritually, that we cannot be moved. Most people are sick today because of not following God's laws, the commandments of God. They are ten. They are not. They were not. Uh, they were not uh, deleted, or they were not crucified at Calvary. They continue until eternity. So let's go to our hub identification class where we tackle uh, the star grass or the star thorn plant. It is called Oxygonum sinuata. Very important for our bodies. And this is a plant that we find in our farms. It is sour in nature. The leaves are used mostly for the treatment. The, 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 seeds, the seeds are thorny-like and they are star-shaped. Uh, we use it for, we use it against elephantitis, elephantitis, skin inflammation due to infection, swelling of eye membranes. Uh, for swelling of eye membranes, you use the, the juice of the leaf, fresh juice, apply on both your eyes. And for elephantitis or skin inflammation, you can make an ointment made out of the leaves, powder of the fresh leaves in an infused, infused in the oil, and then you apply, or you can make a salve out of that, uh, and apply on your skin, 
And you can also make a juice of it. It's very sweet if you take it in. It is actually a vegetable that most people take. You can make a strong juice uh, extracted from the fresh leaves and then take that in twice a day. The stems are chewed as a treatment for tonsillitis. The leaves are applied as a poultice on boils. They are squeezed and the juice is dropped into the eyes to treat conjunctivitis and is applied topically to treat fungal infections on the legs and the feet. The roots are used for the treatment of venereal diseases like you boil the leaves and uh, you can crush them and then put them in a gallon of water and then sit on it if you are having the venereal disease like typhoid, like syphilis, the, um, the happy zoster and uh, gonorrhea and also drink it in most of the times. And skin infections is also very beneficial when we use it on that pounded leaves and then locally applied. Boils, boils, uh, you use the leaves and stems, they are crushed and packed into or onto the surface of the skin as needed to, as needed to effect result for thread worms, a strong decoction of the leaves. So for boils or even tumor, it is a mild pullant of the, of the tumors. Uh, you can roast it, uh, put it in an oven or cover it with banana leaves very well and then put it in water, it will, uh, the heat will, uh, will roast it up and then smash it, it will be very soft and apply it on the boils or tumor. It will pull or ripen the, the tumor and then it can break out so that you can be able to, uh, to monitor it well. Ashes of leaves are used for carbuncles and furuncles, those are skin diseases. Inflammation of the conjunctiva, crushed leaves, juice, drops in eyes, diabetes in cold infusion of pounded old plant of oxygonium, sinantum. You eat, you, 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 the cold infusion, you do it overnight, you take a pound of the leaves in, in about two liters of water, and then after crushing, let it stay until morning and then you drink that twice a day. Wounds, warts, the leaves of Oxygonum, uh, Sinyatum are burnt and are ash leaked. And as well as they can be applied on the wounds directly because of the high, uh, high <clears throat> alkaline levels of the ash. For liver diseases, Masaranet, 50 grams of whole plant of, of, uh, of a starthorn plant and uh, within one hour of two hours and then you, uh, you, actually, uh, you actually take it in. With infection of ashes of leaves of oxygonum sinantum in local application, uh, for example, if you have a wound if you have a swelling, you just put the leaves after crushing uh, or after burning the leaves. It can be either the ashes or the leaves. But the ashes proves effect because of the concentration of the potassium. A potential remedy for fibroids and cancerous wounds. And how do we use it for that? You take it in and also apply it as a poultice. If you have fibroids, you will apply it on the lower abdomen for at least three hours or overnight. The leaf, the whole plant crushed together and applied as a poultice. To enhance it, you can use some DMSO with it so that it takes the medicinal properties inside. For East Coast fever in animals, you boil the leaves and let the, the cow takes. Now that is all about the oxinum, uh, uh, sinuentum, and I believe that you are blessed. Uh, make sure that you follow the laws of health alongside these remedies to make sure that you maintain proper, uh, proper health.